What's up, everybody? This is Easy Industry Gaming, bringing another Brutal Age Partner Guide. This is on the Tree Man. We are doing a partner series showing all the war patterns from every single partner in the game. And we're working from the bottom up. We did the Valley, we've done Cis Violence. Now we're on the Tree Man. We're starting to get into more into the more important uh, partners. I know a lot of people don't use some of these, but believe it or not, once we get into this, you'll see there's a lot of pretty good uh, uses for Tree Man. If you can find it, if you, if you can figure out, if you can figure out how to use them, you know, you've done better than me. But anyway, all all three colors of tree man, they all use the inspire uh, in their legion skills. That means they'll buff your troops. Which so that that's a pretty big thing for for tree man. That means if he survives any battles, then he'll buff the troops that you have in the battle. And uh, we'll get into the red tree man first. We're going to go over all of his attacks and war patterns. First, his first attack is Natural Wave. This is a single target attack. And basically with Tree Man, you'll notice that a lot of his attacks are... I mean, he does have single, he does have group attacks. But they also all either uh, buff your team or debuff the other team. So they're all multi-type attacks. His second attack is the, the Toxic Seed. It's another single, single target attack. And it damages over several rounds. Uh... You'll notice that there's a big range in his hit points and some of his abilities. Uh, getting up into the 6 star for, for Red Tree Man. His hit points aren't very high, but his attack is pretty good. So at 6 star, it's at 438. And uh, I know how, how high a lot of these attacks get for some of these bigger heroes. But um, that's thir it's 438, and that's the basic his basic score. So you can buff that up on the left side. You know there's a left and right side on his attack. Uh, once he gets up to into the third awakening his attack goes all up to 511 But really I think his best uh, His best skill or his best ability is, is going to be the speed Speed is at 110 and that's just the basic speed. So if you put speed on his left hand Then you can probably get that up to 160 150 160. That's pre that's pretty good. So uh, Now hit at third awakening. He does this uh, elderberry branch and that's basically uh, a, a debuff on the other team. So he'll he'll damage every person on the other team, and then for every person in the other team that has a debuff already, they'll get like a 50% increase in damage. So that can actually damage quite a bit. Uh, so that that's red. We're, we're gonna move on to blue. I'm gonna go over all three colors, their abilities, and then we're gonna go into the war patterns. And believe it or not. All three of these can be utilized, at least two of the three, maybe, maybe one, maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but, but Blue, his he, he's uh, another Inspire, so that means he, he'll boost up your Legion's um, morale. And I think it's important to have Inspiring uh, partners, because you can count on what they're going to do for your team. A lot of people will use the partners that will debuff the other morale of the other team. But you don't know what they're going to have on the other team. So you know you know what you're working with when you're affecting your own team. So let's get into his uh, his skills. The first attack skill is called Natural Wave. And this is uh, a single target attack. And it also, what does it do? It, it has a 50% chance to blind. And the second one is called Vine Twist. And this is a group attack. So he, he does have... I believe two attacks in each color that attacks all the whole party and um, this this is an 80% chance to reduce speed so that's a speed debuff now the, the the strength for blue is that at six stars hit points go up to 6094 so that's that's pretty good for uh, for two star for, for a hero that starts off with two star and then uh, also his speed is still at 110 and it goes up to 111 once you get him into the third awakening. So his hit points end up at 7,279. So that's that's pretty good hit points. And his speed is uh, 111, and that's the basic speed again. And that's at the at the third awakening. Uh, his third awakening uh, skill attack skill is called Spike Weed, and that's a group attack. It inflicts two rounds of injury. Which you'll probably the injury is something that uh, I think the green demon killer does or some of the demon killers will inflict injury I, I think that's just uh, damage going into more than one round. I still have to check on that I, I don't know what a lot of these uh, debuffs are So Definitely a lot stronger on blue as far as the hit points go 
Uh, now green, it goes back down as far as the hit points and um, and some of the basic skills. Still has good speed. Still has a speed that's over 100. And I think it's 110 and it goes up a little bit from there. The green tree man will affect the warriors as far as the legion skill goes and that will give the the 20 plus 20 on the warriors morale so if you notice that each one of the colors affected a different troop as far as the skills first skill is natural wave which this is the same as i believe it was the the blue had natural wave too and this is an, an attack a single target and a 50 percent chance to blind for two rounds or something like that yeah two rounds and it, as you can see also it says uh, level two through seven Th these attacks go up in strength quite a bit as you level them up and it's really easy to level them up because there's a lot you get a lot of tree mans as you're spinning these turtles his second skill is called the vine twist and this is an attack all and this is that this is the attack all with the 80 percent chance to reduce speed so remember whenever you have a, a reduced speed partner they, they work very well with the green dragon man who gives the speed boosts or any other partners that do speed in, in increases with their attacks at six star notice very low hit points but uh, despite the low hit points I'm gonna show you what I normally do when I have these low hit point heroes and this might be the way you want to tackle them too I don't know but it's worked for me so far so a after the the third awakening his third skill is called the treant blessing and this is very similar to the green demon killers uh, earthquake where he'll attack and then also he'll give the increase of the attack and defense to all the partners for three rounds and it's got a five round CD but uh, the once you get to the third level then it t cuts off two of those rounds out so basically he can keep the entire team buffed up the entire time so still though nothing really jumps out at you as far as their skills go they don't have anything really overpowering but they do have a lot of group attacks and they do the the speed or, or the, the they take away speed so that, that that's good and uh, one of them has a lot of hit points so you can work with this so as far as the red goes I would use Smilodon and Corsac Smilodon to get his attack up as high as possible his, his attacks already at 511 so you can add 35% to that then use for the helmet in the right hand use uh, attack percentage and speed percentage on the left hand and at the I'm gonna go through all three and then we'll go over the second through fifth attributes right at the end the reason that Smilodon and Corsac work so good is because all of his attacks they all do damage and debuff the enemy so you, you want Corsac to help with the debuffs as much as possible that will give you that 20% increase in hit and remember very few heroes have hit at all most of them have zero I think there's one or two that may have hit as a basic stat so when you so 20% is actually quite a bit moving on to blue tree man this is now we're gonna you'll notice that we build these all differently because of their basic stats because blue tree man has such high hit points we will then kind of work with them and, and give them even more hit points by putting hippo war pattern on them four hippo two corsac you still want to use the corsac because all all of the tree men do the debuffs on on pretty much every attack i think there's one where they just buff their own team but most every attack they're debuffing the other team so you want to use corsac to kind of help that along and uh, also you'll notice that we have speed on the left hand on every single one of these you're going to have speed on left hand on all of them and for blue i would put the attack percentage on the helmet and the right hand and these are all the main attributes uh, and as I mentioned earlier we'll get into the second through fifth right at the very end because I think for the second through fifth attributes you're going to use the same you, you're looking for the same thing on every single one of these uh, it doesn't matter which color it is last one is the green green I would build a little differently reason is is now he are, his hit points are low so he's going to be the first one targeted pretty much every time so use that to your advantage and use four bowl two core sack Put speed in the left hand again, but use defense percentage percentage on the helmet and the right hand, and you'll convert him into the tank. He'll get attacked first, and if you can get his defense up high enough, uh, then 
as they're attacking him, he'll take he'll take he'll take the damage, but he won't get damaged as badly because he'll have the, a much higher defense. And and again, he use Corsac with him too because every one of his attacks are also debuffing the other team. Uh, he's also got that the the speed de decrease as one of his debuffs. So make sure you, whenever you use gr gr green or any of the tree men, you incorporate some kind of other speed changing, whether it be a speed bonus or or debuff, along with them. So for the tree man war patterns, for the second through fifth attributes, I think that a lot of their success are going to really depend on the second through fifth attributes. I, personally, I would use all elite patterns that you can see the three or four of the attributes at one time instead of putting something like attack percentage on the helmet and then you don't know what you're going to get for the second, third, fourth, or fifth. Use some of the gold uh, war patterns so you can see it all and try to use hit point percentage, hit percentage, speed, and either attack or defense on every single one. If you can manage to get all percentages on all of the war patterns for all five attributes, th th you'll really be doing a lot better for yourself. So thanks for watching. Keep it as, as short as possible. Sub to the channel, guys. Can't thank you enough. Till next time, it's been easy.